Okay, so let's move on to our next topic which is a cyclic quadrilateral. So for a cyclic quadrilateral, a cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral. So when you say a quadrilateral, it has four sides. So a quadrilateral that is inside or inscribed in a circle. Okay? Um, okay, so for number one, at, uh, we only have one problem for this one. So we have... A quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle. So that means that it's a cyclic quadrilateral in such a way that one of the sides is the diameter of the circle. Okay. So if the three other sides are 1, 2, and 3 centimeters respectively, find the area enclosed by the quadrilateral. So we got a circle. Okay. So we got a circle. Let's make it a big one. And then we have a quadrilateral inside. But what happens is one of the sides... Is the diameter okay so let's say that this is the diameter and this is also one side of the quadrilateral so it may look like something like this okay let me get another one here and then we get another one here there you go. Okay. And then, um, so since this is so this is your D or our D or the diameter. Okay. So that is D. Let's just call this side A. So this is 1 and this is B which is 2 and then this is C equal to so one two three right so i want okay so these are all in centimeters and then we are asked to find the area actually this area find the area enclosed by the quadrilateral okay so we can see if you're looking for that you can have here the um the diagonal okay so the diagonal of this one is this one of course and then another one here i think uh, let's make it a different color there you go and then let's make it a broken line okay i think that's better and then this one, this one. Okay. okay. So let's say that the red diagonal, let's say that is, let's make it smaller, a D1. Okay. So that's the first diagonal and then the second one will be your D2. Okay, so this is D2. Okay, so remember this, that if you are dealing with a cyclic quadrilateral and one of the sides of a, uh, of a, uh, of the quadrilateral or the cyclic quadrilateral is acting as the diameter of the circle, take note of this one, that it will always be, and it is already a given, this angle will be 90 degrees. Okay, so this angle will be 90 degrees as well as this one. So if that will be a if that will be a right angle, therefore I can use this triangle. Uh, first of all, we can use um, Ptolemy's to theorem. So Ptolemy's theorem. Uh, to Ptolemy's theorem simply says that AC plus BD is equal to uh, the diagonal product of the diagonal. Okay. So A AC plus BD. So, AC and BD are the sides of, of the quadrilateral. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
but we already have the value for a c b right we don't have the value for d and it is actually yeah we don't have the value for d okay and then we don't also have the value for d1 and d2 but we can use the triangle um this one okay this triangle Okay, so this triangle first. Okay, so using the triangle, you'll have... Um, so if you use the triangle, you'll see that... I'll just isolate the, uh, the triangle of separate rowing. Okay, so isolating the triangle, you'll have something like this. So this is a triangle so that you guys can see. So this is right angle. The opposite of the right angle is D the adjacent is okay so this is a equal to one and then this is d1 okay so therefore um by uh, by pythagorean theorem or by pt okay, pt pythagorean theorem we can say that uh, d1 squared plus 1 squared is equal to d squared right so let's try to isolate d1 since we need d1 so d1 is equal to the square root of uh, d squared minus 1 right okay and then the second one is you can look at the no no not that one this triangle here this triangle Okay, so this one, this triangle. Okay. So again, isolating that triangle, you'll see. So this is one, right? So isolating that triangle, you'll have here. So this is the triangle. So we have a right angle. The opposite of right angle is D again. And then we have here a D2. D2 and that right yeah that's right okay so again by pythagorean theorem you'll have here d squared is equal to uh, d2 squared plus 3 squared or um, isolating d2 you'll have d2 is equal to the square root of uh, d squared minus 9 okay so what you want to do is this one and then this d1 and d2 the values of d1 and d2 you will uh, substitute it here. Okay. Substitute it to the Ptolemy's theorem. So substituting that, you'll have a is equal to 1. So 1. So a is equal to 1. And then c, do we have a value for c? Yes, that's 3. Plus b is 2. Okay, so this is 2. And then we got d, which is the one that we don't know equal to the value of d1 which is square root of d squared minus 1 times d2 square root of um, d squared minus 9 okay or you can do this algebraically or you can just use your calculator so using whatever you use the value that you will get for um, d is 4.11 that's centimeters. Okay, so that's not yet the answer because we are looking for the area of the quadrilateral. Okay, so for the area of quadrilateral is, you can use the formula for the quadrilateral, a uh, quadra cyclic quadrilateral. The formula is, let me change the color first, area equal to the square root so s minus a it looks like kind uh, of the Heron's formula okay s minus b times s minus c times s minus d okay and of course s is still uh, one half of the summation of all the sides so a plus b plus C plus D. 
So, your A will be 1, B is 2, C is 3, and D is this one, 4.11. And then divided by 2, when you uh, do that, your, you will be able to get a value of 5.055 centimeter. Okay, and then just use the formula for A, and then you'll get a final answer of A will be equal to so all you have to do is just substitute the value of A and values of A, B, C, D on the formula for the area. And then you'll get a value of 4.9048 48 square centimeter. And this will be your final answer. Okay. And with that, let's go to the last topic. Actually, it's the last topic. 